let's talk about Hayat Bou Median. How important is she now to terrorist groups? She's, she's the most wanted woman in the world. She's very important. You know, the terrorist organizations, whether ISIS or Qaeda, or particularly ISIS, are appealing to women. They're giving them a sense of purpose. They're telling them you can belong to us and you have a, you know, we will honor you and we will take you and you can be part of our mission. They're not telling them that, you know, you will be a sex slave once you enter. We expect you to cook and clean and we, op we expect you to operate as a very, in a very patriarchal norms of women. But the appeal from the outside, come join the fight. There's a sense of purpose. And here they have a woman who's having the image that she's escaping and she has a, she's part of this organization. It's an appeal. It's not a, it's not a rejected image. And it's very dangerous to actually sensationalize her the you way we are. You careful with, you know, reporting, the reporting on her because... Well, because, for sensationalistic reasons? Right, because if you're a young woman in the Middle East or if you're a young woman in the, in, in the Muslim world and you are, I mean, in the European world and you're living with a conservative family, you feel discriminated against by the society outside of you. They're telling you you're Muslim, you are this, you are this, you are this. You feel disenfranchised, marginalized. You know, your family inside is restricting you. You cannot do this. You cannot, you cannot have a boyfriend. You cannot do that. And all of a sudden, there's an image of a woman who is, in a sense, liberated mm -hmm. by going on her own and fighting and being part of this operation, there's a sensationalization of her. And we, it's dangerous that we actually allow that figure to grow. You said all of this, the male jihadis, uh, the women, mm -hmm. this is more about emotion and psychology than it is about anything else. Absolutely. So for Muslims, the, 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 the merits of, uh, of why ISIS is appealing for Islam, for the, you know, is recruiting as much youth as, is, as possible and is scaring everyone actually, is because they're addressing an emotional point. They're telling them that the West have failed you. The West have failed us in democracy and freedom and prosperity. Our own governments, Middle Eastern governments, has also failed us in, in, in delivering on prosperity and all of that. So we are going to take ourselves to the era of Islam where it was once upon a time a golden religion, a religion where there's creativity and art and science. We're going to take us back to that moment. For all Muslims, including myself, we all studied the same history. Yeah. That was a glorious thing that we always are proud of. They're taking that history and they're making it into, they're promising it for the future. Yeah. And that's the appeal for a lot of people. Um, you say that you are deeply concerned about the images, about what happened, obviously, but mm -hmm. the images that are being portrayed on television, mm -hmm. that it's going to inspire many more of these mm -hmm. attacks. That's mm -hmm. what you've been talking about. All I time. am very scared, actually. What we need to do is, re is create another alternative image that is more attractive and its appeal to young Muslim women all over the world, be it in the Middle East or in Europe. And that image is you can be a Muslim and you can be hip and you can be cool and educated and liberal and all of these things and you can fulfill your full potential and will accept you and honor you and you don't have to join this group. So the opposite image of this woman is not existing in the media. Mm -hmm. It's the terrorist is existing her image is there, it's packaged, all of that. Mm -hmm. But the image, the alternative is not, and we have to create the alternative. Yeah.